Welcome back to another episode of Warren Cali. In this episode, I'm going to detail the story of how a Sacramento toddler lost his life. July 4th, 2012, three-year-old George Azios III and his father George Jr. were on Palmer House Drive in South Sacramento in a car when another car pulled up beside them and started shooting. But only three-year-old George would be shot and he would be rushed to the hospital by his dad. But George III would be later pronounced dead. A three-year-old boy is killed in a drive-by shooting, and today investigators are still trying to answer the question, who did it and why? This is a story Case Area 3's Mike DeSell has been working on all day long. Yeah, he spoke with family, friends, even the father who was driving that car at the time of the shooting. He joins us now live at the scene in South Sacramento. Mike? And we are live right where this happened at the intersection of Palmer House Drive and Lucretta Drive here in Sacramento County. This lamppost now being used as a memorial for what happened to a three-year-old boy who just moments before his death was simply riding home after watching 4th of July fireworks. <laughs> this afternoon, the boy's father grieved at the very spot where his son, three-year-old George Azios, was shot and killed. This boy killed while riding home from a night of watching fireworks. He's only three years old. How can anybody do that and live with themselves? Sheriff's investigators say the SUV that George's father was driving was riddled with more than a dozen gunshots. The boy, according to his grandmother, was struck multiple times. He was innocent. You, dude, you shot two, three, four, five bullets into my grandson. 18 hours after the shooting, investigators still aren't releasing any details about possible suspects or even a description of the shooter's car. However, investigators tell KCRA 3 they believe the boy's father was likely the intended target and they are investigating possible gang ties. When approached, the boy's father said this. I don't want to say nothing. Regardless, family members are pleading with anyone who may know who killed this boy to come forward. So whoever's watching this, whoever's hearing this, you got my nephew, you got him, and you have kids, and you should know, you should know you don't do that. You don't hurt kids, you don't. Back here live, family members told KCL Ray 3 this boy's father is not in a gang. Regardless, when that father came here this afternoon to grieve, he did look skyward at one point and said, quote, my actions led to this. Guys. Oh, Mike, this is just a tough situation there for the family and friends of that boy. It's been almost a day now, 18 hours since the shooting. So do investigators really have anything to go on who did this? Uh, at this point, not publicly, but keep in mind that investigators say that uh, this early in the investigation, even if they did have information on who the shooter may be or who was involved, they likely might not even tell us that because they don't want to jeopardize their investigation before an arrest. Much speculation would come up on why this would happen, but by the next month, three suspects were determined to be involved in the killing of three-year-old George. 20-year-old Gabriel, 17-year-old Eric, rapper Uzzy Marcus, who was 16 at that time, and this was said to be a gang shooting between gangs who were beefing. George Jr.'s brother allegedly got into a previous shootout with his rivals, so when they spotted George Jr. and his three-year-old son, they would be caught in the crossfire, and an unfortunate event would occur. Three suspects will be arrested and go to jail and fight their case, pleading their innocence. About the suspects now in custody in connection with the murder of this three-year-old Sacramento boy. KCRA 3's Philippe Jagal is live force at the Sacramento County Jail, where those suspects actually turned themselves in, Philippe. That's right, Edie. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Department says that the first suspect walked through the doors of the county jail behind me just after 5 o'clock and gave himself up yesterday. The other two showed up two hours later and tonight. All three are behind bars without bail. 20-year-old Gabriel Quintero was booked into county jail. 16-year-old Marcus Weber and 17-year-old Eric Menjeres booked into juvenile hall. All three in custody on a murder charge. All of them are equally as culpable as the trigger man. County court records show Quintero was convicted of a DUI in 2010 and sentenced to three years probation. The county probation department says juvenile records are confidential, but the sheriff's department confirms that this is a booking photo of Menjeres from a prior arrest. If you do something wrong, 
you know, you have to pay for it. Carlos Mayo says a prayer as he walks by the memorial for three-year-old George Azios near the corner where he died on July 4th. It kind of hurt my heart. I had my Aaron Jackson was outside playing with his three-year-old when he heard what he thought were fireworks. The sheriff's department says they were actually gunshots. Violence like that is senseless. Deputy Jason Ramos says the three suspects drove up to the car Azios's father was driving and fired striking and killing the toddler. It have been mistaken identity, but we still have to figure that out 100%. Oh, so the father wasn't driving his car? No, the vehicle that he was in actually was borrowed from somebody else. The Sheriff's Department says that Quintero is a known gang member and that the other two have ties to gangs as well. All three are due in court tomorrow. Live in Sacramento, police... This case will be fought for three years, and police will say a man named Anthony was shot by George Jr.'s brother, so he wanted revenge. Anthony would get the drop on George Jr. and let Uzzy Marcus, Eric, and Gabriel do a drive-by in his car, but it ended bad. At trial, all three men, Eric, Gabriel, and Uzzy Marcus will plead their innocence. Uzzy Marcus will be questioned on the stand, and he would say he didn't know Gabriel, and he didn't know Eric. Marcus will also break down and cry, and say he didn't know who killed three-year-old George, but say it wasn't him. Anthony will put the blame solely on Eric, but Eric's team will say he was a liar and he was saying anything not to be convicted. But by 2015, this trial will end in a mistrial, and Eric, Gabriel, and Uzzy Marcus will all be set free. Three-year-old George will never get justice, and his killers will never be charged. R.I.P. to him. We'll conclude this episode. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my previous episodes. Don't forget to like, Comment and subscribe.